Hey, what's up? That's me, Logan. What do you look like? I used to be a regular kid from Ohio. You know, I loved sports, I paid attention in school, and was always a bit awkward. But then when I was about 10 years old, I picked up a video camera and became Logan Paul. And your address? Butthead Street. Wow, you're a jerk. Don't call back again. <sighs> yup, I've always been a bit of a troublemaker. Fast forward. This was me in 2016, which ended up being the best year of my life. <laughs> then, this was me in 2017, which was an even better year of my life. What the fuck happened in 2018 that made the world quiver when they heard the words Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Obviously, you know the answer, but let's rewind for a second. After becoming one of the top Vine stars in the world, rest in peace Vine, by the way, I hopped from platform to platform shooting viral sketch comedy bits, some of which you may have seen. After about a year, I had gained about 25 million fans between Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then I heard about this thing called daily vlogging. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Logan Paul, and welcome to my vlog channel. That's right, I'm vlogging now. You get to see more of me. <laughs> I began my YouTube journey with a bulldoze mentality. I was gonna work my ass off to overtake this platform with fresh, explosive, quick paced and outlandish content. I wanted to conquer and destroy, sometimes quite literally, everything in my path. The bigger, the faster, the louder, the better. I wanted to make noise. So, I did. fastest channel to hit 10 million subscribers in the history of YouTube. And I told myself that I was going to blow any competition I had out of the water, which at one point became my own brother. And that got ugly. And slowly but surely, in my endless pursuit of more views and more subscribers, it was becoming clear that the vlog mentality was getting out of hand. But I did not see that. Here's what I saw. Oh, mamma mia, take a look around. Oh, yo, it looks so good at night. Boy, just dropped 40K on a presidential Rolex. So how about that vehicle, though? What's in the bags? $11,600 worth of Gucci clothes. Bro, is this solid gold? Solid gold! $20,000, it's yours. That's my boy. <laughs> the machine was beginning to take on a mind of its own. As my hunger for success was growing exponentially, so was my ego. Yeah, boy, I'm the Maverick! Why, your feelings hurt? Right. The line for what was acceptable it became more and more foggy, and the disrespect began to skyrocket. And it's not that I felt the rules didn't apply to me. I knew they did. I just didn't care about the consequences if I broke them. I didn't even consider them. You can't stop, Logan! Fucking... I wanted to entertain my audience every single day with out-of-this-world content and behavior that they could only find on Logan Paul vlogs. Consequences were rarely even an afterthought. Logan, going to the top! Ah! And not to mention, 
I was the 22-year-old, blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid from Ohio with 45 million followers on the internet. Every single day, my actions were validated by 5 to 7 million viewers, and as long as I wasn't doing any harm, no one was trying to stop me. Not my peers, not my family, not even members of my own team. And then, in December of 2017, I went to Japan. It was the perfect storm of circumstance, ignorance, ego, and downright stupidity. The backlash against the social media star who posted video of an apparent suicide victim is intensifying. The video viewed over six million times in just 24 hours. And YouTube star Logan Paul is facing the fallout after posting a video that showed the body of an apparent suicide victim. And the backlash was massive. People and creators of all sizes denouncing Logan Paul and this video. Actor Aaron Paul saying Logan Paul go to hell. So many people sharing stories of people they lost due to suicide and some specific Hanging. I obviously, as a person, as a human being, I was frustrated and pissed off and offended by his actions. A hero for a lot of kids is to, to Logan fans, and when I see that, I, I care so much. I'm so disgusted. How could somebody not realize how fucked up this is? This crosses the line. And I am not surprised that he would do something like this. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever as a human being. How about a little bit of empathy, like a normal human being, instead of being a moron? Go to a morgue if you're that fucking morbid. He thought that that was a cool thing to do. In less than 24 hours, I became the most hated person on the planet. I had made an inexcusable mistake, completely destroyed my image, lost every professional relationship that I had, became the internet's favorite meme, and most importantly, had my eyes opened wide to the consequences of my actions. I felt every ounce of disappointment and hate directed at me. And while it was 100% my fault, it was critical that I felt all of it. Now, here's where I made a significant mistake. I went into panic mode. Being disliked was my biggest fear in the entire world. So, in a scramble to try and reverse the past, I asked myself, how do I fix this? When instead, the question I should have been asking was, how do I fix me? I took a month break from the internet and attempted to bounce back with an anti-suicide PSA and a donation, but I was still moving too fast. I didn't fully understand the significance of my actions or the depth of the pain they caused and was literally becoming my own worst nightmare. Pretty much, I know for a fact, everything I do from this point on will get criticism, it will get backlash. So internet, please, yo, use me, bro, crucify me, vilify me! Oh my God. As I fell more and more out of touch with reality, I couldn't trust myself. I wouldn't send my team the videos for a review, I didn't listen to my friends, and I refused to adapt my content. It was the highest degree of self-sabotage. But finally, after nearly running the rest of my life into the ground, I received a blessing in disguise. You said before this fight, you had something planned. Is there anything you want to say to someone out there? Obviously, a man's got this belt right now. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the pools, I don't care. Bring it. Let I saw this as an opportunity to turn my disoriented emotions into fuel. After everything that had happened since January, this was my chance to truly, truly take a step back from the internet and focus on something else with the unrelenting passion that I knew I had. I knew that I had more to offer in this world and I did not want to let my failure define me. Little did I know, I had been preaching this message the whole time. And if you lose, if you fail, fine. In fact, please, let me fail. Let me, let me lose. If you can take a hit in the face and get back up and learn from it, that is a win. Consider that a win because you are now better and stronger than you were in the past. It's just like working out. You work out, you work out, you work out. You deplete your muscles. You take your protein shake and then your muscles heal and you're stronger than you were before. It's the same exact thing.
During the six months of four hours of daily training, I rekindled my relationship with my brother. I fell in love with a girl who absolutely changed my life, and I restructured my business and focused on my mental health and emotional growth. This is weird, bro. I didn't think I'd cry right now. Thank God for the people around me and the support of you guys, because I don't know how else I would have gotten through this year or out of my own way. It is a majority draw. And although the fight was a draw, whack as fuck, it turned out to be the biggest event in internet history, and I'm looking forward to the rematch next year. I told myself at the beginning of the year that I was not gonna let that become my legacy, and that I was gonna not ask for forgiveness but earn a chance to be forgiven. Have I earned that? Not yet. Not yet. But it is the start of a new Logan Paul where every fucking day I craft a better version of myself. And KSI, for that I do it. Thank you, brother. Rematch is gonna be fun. Ladies and gentlemen, KSI and Logan Paul. As I've matured this year, I've gotten to exercise my creativity in different ways with the number one podcast in the world called Impulsive, a documentary about the flat earth, which is coming in January, and I'm hitting 2019 hard by releasing a show called Best Friends that I shot with Evan. Big things come in small packages. An animated story time series about crazy shit that's gone down in my life, as well as reviving the vlogs. I'm growing into who I am and what I want to make versus trying to fit into the mold of YouTube personality or be someone who I'm simply not. The things you've been through this year, have you shared yet on this podcast or on your vlog the three biggest lessons you learned from this year? What's, uh, the, what's the one you shared? The one is slow down. It is the first thing that comes to my mind and I can not point to that as the reason for what happened, the singular reason for what happened, but that is a, that is huge. What would be lesson number two? The biggest lesson of the year. Lesson number two. Listen. Ooh. Listen in how in what way? Listen to the people around you. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to your audience. Listen to your friends. Listen to your family. You're not right about everything, old Logan. What would be the third one? Biggest lesson that you think will transform not only your business, your brand, your empire, but also your life in 2019 and beyond. I think empathy. I think I think being aware of people beyond just yourself. I am still young and I still have a lot to learn and by no means am I saying I've learned everything and I'll never make another mistake because I'm far from perfect and I'm nowhere near the man I want to be but the best thing I can do is keep striving to listen, learn, grow, feel, and adapt. Now, one year later, although I can't say 2018 was the best year of my life, I can absolutely say this has been the most cathartic and important year of my life. This year and how I move forward will forever define the type of man that I am and the mission I'm on. I'm blessed to be able to continue doing what I love and I wanna thank all of you for your support. And if you're like me and you're ever feeling low, like the weight of the world has been stacked on your shoulders, even if it is a fault of your own, just remember, it could always get worse, but it will always get better. <sighs> Who knows, 2018 might end up being the best year of my life, but I got a lot more to go. Peace.